Hello everyone, welcome back to Ether 1. Okay, so it's getting to the point where I'm kind of getting overwhelmed with how many places there are to go and how many puzzles and things there are to do, and I'm not exactly sure what precisely I should do next. And I want to tie up some loose ends, which is probably going to end up with a lot of cutting. But for now, here's what's happened. So I believe at the end of the last episode I said I was going to try to figure out that one locker inside of the Miner's Dry. The one locker that had no name on it. So I pulled out my pad of codes, and off camera I tried every single one of them. None of these are the code to the unnamed locker. So I don't know what that's about. I'll hopefully figure that out at some point. But there's a couple other things I want to try as well. All the way back here. I'm almost certain I've missed some stuff here. I mean, I know there's some uncompleted things, that's obvious, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure at least some of them can actually be solved from within here. Some of them might require stuff from other places, but I'm pretty sure I've missed some stuff in here. So here's one thing I want to check. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, it's down here. Okay, I have a hunch that I can take this back. And I think my hunch is wrong. It is, okay. See, I was thinking that light bulb that I put in inside of the Brimcliff Mines, or wherever the hell that exactly was, the uh, something industrial area. I was thinking that light bulb, I put that in and I it allowed me to take it back. Even though it was part of a puzzle, so I was thinking maybe even though this is part of a puzzle, I could take it back as well, because I know there's a place inside of the industrial area where I need a wheel just like this. Apparently not. M maybe if I complete this puzzle here, I'll be able to take it back, but at the moment, I can't. I still really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I know it involves... Uh, like, forging something, making something. But I don't think I actually have anything that can do that yet. I remember the... Uh, the smith threw out all of his pieces of art, right? Still don't think I have anything. Pretty sure not. You think I'd find like a piece of metal or something in his shop to take? I mean, maybe there's something in here I can pick up that I just haven't realized I can pick up. Hmm. Anyway, okay, there's one other thing that I definitely want to check out. It's inside of Bell's office. Which I believe is right here, right? Yes. Okay, somebody told me that I should close the door behind me. I don't know why. We're about to find out. The opening and closing the door to hear what was inside was just too tempting. Okay, that did something. It, it triggered something. One part restored. Was that one of the parts? Perhaps it was. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure I've cleaned this place out. I mean, I grabbed a light bulb from right there is where it was. I've read this, right? Yep, read that. Might as well leave that open so I know if I opened it. Yeah, I know I've been up there. I don't remember exactly how I got up there. Um, wait, this... I must have unlocked this door at some point, right? I remember this was locked. When did I unlock it? Eh, whatever. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe closing the door behind me opened this? I have not been up here, have I? I do not recognize these bells. How ironic is it that Bell's Workshop has bells in it? Ha ha. Okay. Oh, another one of these tools. Alright, I think that's my third one that I've found so far. Let's go put these this uh, pad of codes back. Gonna be using this to hit the bells, obviously. Sound. I stand and look out of my window at the top of my stairs. 
Overlooking the lighthouse and the buoys that bob away in the harbor, I feel like I am at my most content and thoughtful. The sound in the distance inspired me to explore different tones with the machine. When I stand here and simply watch, I feel like I am close, unfathomably close to that great discovery. A. Bell It took five months and two lots of pocket money to buy such a beautiful music box. Only fair that it should spend a little time in each person's house. Wait, that just triggered a memory. In my own mind, I mean. Wasn't there something about a music box? Do I have a note for that? I'm looking, I have a piece of paper that's almost completely filled with notes. This says Mind Heart. This says Check Last Locker with No Name. Found in Fuse Box. I don't even know what most of this stuff means anymore. But yeah, that rings a bell. Wasn't somebody missing a music box, or am I thinking of another game? I might be thinking of another game. Okay, well, I'm obviously supposed to recreate a tone in a certain order. Kind of classic puzzle here. Um, question is, where does the... Where does it come from? Maybe if I maybe if I find the music box, that will explain it. Oh yeah, this is it. Have you seen this music box? If you have, please contact Mage on S. That's where I've seen it. And it's got a photo so blurry and so crappy, for all I know, it could be a UFO. Or maybe a ghost. Also, I'm on the lookout for keys. Is that a gas mask? Why would he have a gas mask? Tenancy Agreement. Dear Mr. Bell, Thank you for bringing back the Tennessee Agreement. Your six-month lease will start next Monday, but feel free to move in whenever suits you best. I know it's only a small space, but it's close to the workshop and you get a nice view of the harbor. Also, it's quite handy for electricity if you still want to run cables down to the workshop basement. Wait, so where exactly is this spot? Wait, I thought that was the Smith's place. That has cables running down. Where exactly is his workshop? Is that his workshop? Or maybe they, like, shared the space? Well, it's close to the workshop, is what it says. I guess I should track that. Track the cables back. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've already been there. But yeah, I should see where the electricity cables go. And that would be his place. Mechanical engineering. Always gotta check for secrets. No secrets. But I might need it. Oh. It's missing one. Crap, I don't have a spare one. I only found one spare in this area, and I already used it on the bar, uh, the bar safe. Pinwheel Post, May 15th, 1966. Communal funeral held for miners lost. Funeral procession for the 23 fallen workers of Brimcliffe Mine was received by entire village. Some stood silently, whilst others clapped as the procession passed by. Many showed tears of care and love, for the brave men and plenty placed flowers on the coffins. The fallen miners were all drowned when an unscheduled explosion trapped them in a chamber that flooded with seawater from the English Channel. Hundreds of residents from the surrounding villages and towns began to gather at around 9 a.m. BST in preparation for the procession. Ooh. Oh, is that the code wheel? I think that is a code wheel. Uh, put this thing down right here. There we go. Nope. 
There we go. Ooh. What in the heck is that? I have no idea what that's for. Almost looks like the steering wheel for a boat, but that doesn't look right. The handles aren't long enough. Right, well, I still need the password. The code. And I'm going to go ahead and take that with me. That's a massive cane. Look at that thing, it's almost as tall as my, it almost comes up in my head. Engineering drawing. No secrets. Okay, do I have his code written down anywhere? I'm looking at my stuff. I don't believe I do. Mm. No, I don't have it written down. I think I should check out his workshop. I also don't know what sequence this should be. That didn't work. Not surprisingly. <laughs> Randomly hitting bells in a totally random order is probably not going to be effective. I think I've cleaned this place out. I should actually write a note of this. I'm going to fill up my paper even more. Bell sequence with a question mark. And... Bells safe. Unless maybe the passcode is here. Are there any numbers of any sort? Okay, so since I can't... Since it's not making a noise when I try to use this, I'm pretty sure that means I can't. But, just in case, let me grab a fuse and just test it. I'm so glad I put these up here. Yeah, I can. It would make that bloop noise if I was using the wrong item. connected to it. Look at that. I have no idea why. That's actually incredibly bizarre. I don't know why anyone would want to design it that way, but okay. Okay. Follow the power lines. Could that be the password? It is on his building. Est-1845, whatever that means. Estimated? Does that mean estimated? Probably not. Let's try it.
Well, so much for that. Still only one part restored. Alright, I think I need the music box. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure I've been up there. Yeah. Alright, so that was his workshop. Is that the bells? Nah, I only hear one tone. That really does sound like the bells. But again, it's only one tone, so... don't think it's particularly helpful. Oh, look at that, it's so cute, it's so tiny! Passcodes and items and secrets. It's gotta be secrets. There's always secrets. No, oh, I didn't pick that up. Actually, don't I already have one? Psst, yeah, I've already got one. Screw it. Don't need more clutter. I'm not a hoarder. I'm totally not a hoarder. See, look. There's proof that I'm not a hoarder. I'm only picking up and taking almost every single item that I see. Ah, uh, this was the view he was talking about, wasn't it? Wait a minute. There's bells on those buoys. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's the combination, right there. Okay, well I'll look at that and record it in a second. Let's look around the rest of this place. Oh, wait, is this a... Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, I do have- I actually do have that on my notes. 0427 found in fuse box I have on my note, but I didn't actually write down that this is connected to Bell. Okay. Mm, nothing new there, I'm sure I've already read that. And is this dead? No, it's not dead, okay. <laughs> is there any reason for me to change it out? I don't know. Alright, 0427. Okay. I've got that, so let me get the order of these bells. Okay. Write it down. Bell order. Alright, gotta wait for the start, wherever the start is. Let's give it a second. There we go. Left, middle. Right. Left. Middle. Right. Wait, is that it? Left, middle. Hmm. Okay, so it's just going left to right, but they're... They're dinging different amounts, aren't they? Hold on. How do I write this? <sighs> I'm not entirely sure even how to write this down on my piece of paper. Alright, hold on. I'm going to record it. I'll be back. Okay, I think I got it. So they play the sequence where they go from left to right once, and then it does this. Left, middle, and then left, right. There, it just did it. And then it goes back to left, middle, right. Left. 
middle. And right. I'm not sure if that part is part of the sequence, but then it's going to do it again. It's going to go left, middle, left, right. Given how quick it is, I think that's the code. Left, middle, left, right. And then maybe a left, middle, right tacked onto the end. I'm not sure. Or maybe the left, middle, right's the beginning. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I should have all the information I need to get both of those parts. Alright, let's try to save first. 0427. Okay. Ah, another one of these. Sweet. At this time in the evening, all but a few shops in the village were closed for the day. Andrew and his two very worried-looking brothers had made their way past all the other houses and were about to cross the village and head down to the dock. Only one thing stood in their way. Mr. Jefferson, the innkeeper. He was sweeping up for the night. The whole town knew how much pride he took in his work. He might be there for a while. It's no good. We'll have to go home, said Rob, glad the adventure was over. Rubbish, barked Andrew. Let's just wait. It's either that or we can go the long way round by the river. I can't be bothered with all that, Rob sighed. The knocker won't mind what time we get there, said Andrew. Rob frowned, feeling a bit silly that he was so taken in by the story and had agreed to come in the first place. Another piece for the collection. Still wondering how many of those there are. <clears throat> Hold on, let me check. I still... Yeah, I've still got that one, so I can just leave that. That one there. Okay. Oh, so the tap doesn't sound good unless you have the tool, right? Which makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so left, middle, left, right. Welp, I quit. I'm done. Hmm. Okay, so let's try left, middle, right, and then left, middle, left, right. Memories. Mm. Beautiful memories are made of beautiful things. This is one of them. Excellent. Okay, cool. That should, yep, fully restored it. That sounded like an echo from Mr. Bell. Why won't anything work? Of course he has his note here about more damn failures plague my work. Okay, well I solved this. Well thank you for the thank you to the person who told me to close the door, because I don't think I would have ever thought, hey, maybe if I close the door behind me I can start solving this puzzle. It's actually really bizarre. I'm not really sure why they did that. Is there is there a hint somewhere in one of these notes that tells you or suggests that closing the door might work, because otherwise it just seems so random. Okay, so how many more pieces are there to restore? 
the blacksmith and the May Day celebration. So I've done half of that. Okay. I've turned on the furnace. I just need to, well, actually make something. The blacksmith was a vital part of the British town for a very long time. But with industries growing and taking over, they had to find other ways to survive and remain in trade. This particular smith became well known for his sculpting and other decorative metal work. But apparently he became a recluse after the industrial decline and destroyed all of his work. If an artist's tools are kept sharpened, any memory can be etched in stone. Artist's tools kept sharpened. I think I need to put something in the furnace. <clears throat> but what? What could I put in the furnace? I didn't even remember that I had this flute. Neat. What can I sharp? I don't think I have anything big enough to even really put in there. Without burning my hand at the same time. Not that I can actually get damaged, but you know. I mean, that looks like it's a, it's a tool. It's not a big one. I have a hammer. Here's another tool, but I'm not exactly going to be putting that in the furnace. Might burn the wood a little bit. You don't usually reforge a hammer. In fact, I don't think hammers are forged in the first place. I don't know, maybe in the olden days they were, but certainly not now. Right. So. So. Uh, there's gotta be some, some, like, raw piece of metal or something I can pick up. That I could potentially forge or do something with. But where? And I still need the key to the workshop basement. Alright, I'm going to look around a while, and I will be back. Here's something new. It's another part of the Painter's Journal. Painter's Journal number two. Pretty sure I haven't read this one. Today's workshop didn't go very well. I attended a mosaic group, as recommended by my doctor. As requested, I sat down and began to follow the instructions from the kind lady who was helping me. Yet, as I sat in that room with people surrounding me, all having the same condition as I, I suddenly became aware of where I was and why I was there. Having never felt such an emotional sensation, I began to panic, to seize up with an overwhelming need to leave the group. I was a state. Wait, I was a state? Should that be I was in a state? I, I was a state? You're a state. That's impressive. Wow, maybe one day you can be a country. <laughs> when I paint, I feel like I lose myself in the forms I create. My thoughts and problems no longer become apparent or relevant. Nothing else matters, especially new art forms. Alright, well, I tried to do the May Day ankle bracelet thing. I still can't figure out what the name of it actually is. And... I also tried to do... Uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, the... The blacksmith thing. I, I just have no idea. So I'm going to go into the mines and see if anything's changed based on what I've done at the industrial area. Also, I remember there was some sort of a fathoms device here. I guess it's the, the number of fathoms and something like that. And now I actually have that stuff written down. Yeah, here's the missing one. Anyway, let's see if anything's, cha anything's changed. I feel like I can break through this if I had the right tool. I don't know. Probably not. that. I know I read everything here. Yeah, mining depth. So let's see what tools are here again. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's a signaler here, too. Okay. That is still locked. 
I have a feeling none of this is going to work until I can get this thing working, though. Not entirely sure what that actually powers. Anyway, okay. Um, let's go to the nearest depth, which is 380, which is Nick B's place, which is connected to shoot number 3, and apparently has 9 miners on staff, according to everything I've written down. So 380. And then, I, what is this actually going to do, though? Finally. Please come this way. The doctor will see you now. I don't understand what this machine actually does. What did that do? Did something change? Oh, that restored a part, didn't it? It did? Okay, so if I keep doing the other ones, maybe that will, will restore all of them. Alright, next one down is 400. That is Sean V. Apparently that's invalid. Okay, 420. Okay. 480. That's the next one. That's the last one. Right. Wonderful. Restored one part for some reasons, the others, the others don't, and I still have no freaking clue what that actually does. I'm setting the mining depth. The mining depth of what? Alright, let me try knocking on these. Where's my tool? There's my tool. I should probably, at some point, just take a look at everything I have here. Just to refresh my memory of what my options are, because I've got so many things. Oh, wait a minute. I have... I have a code wheel. Hmm. I wonder if any code wheel is interchangeable with any missing code wheel. So long as it's the right color, of course. In other words, could I have used that in Bell's workshop? Perhaps? Also, it just occurred to me that this should be with the collection. Okay, what's the codes? Don't know which one I'm supposed to do, don't care, gonna do them all. Mm, what is A again? A is tin. Tin is a lighter one. So right, left, left. Alright, so starting from the right, it's 131 one for the first one. We asked to arrive 10 minutes early and still having to wait for 45 minutes. Come back! Ooh! Excellent! I know exactly what to do with that. Uh, is there somewhere to put my tool down? Because I don't want to stick my tool in a cart that might just drive off at any moment. I better just put it back. I'm really, I'm really, uh, I'm really scared of leaving my items, or swapping items with other items after I lost the orchard key here and had to load a save to get it back. Which actually reminds me, I should save the game. Just in case something like that happens again. They actually released a patch for this game pretty recently. I don't know what it fixes, but I'm assuming it probably would fix stuff like that, so maybe it's not as likely to happen. Okay. Now, what order do they need to be put in?
Is it the same as, like, the last one I did a while ago? What did I set the last one to? From a while ago. Um, maybe it needs to be the same as this one? Wait, this was an open... This wasn't open before, was it? No, no, it wasn't. Okay, a lot of stuff has happened. Cool, cool. What is that? Real. What do I do with it? Hmm. Usually the reel's already there, I just need to restore the whole thing. Time off forbidden. Dear Mr. Peterson, I am writing to notify you that your recent holiday request for May 1st, 1966 has been refused due to Mr. T. Fletcher already being on holiday. An expansion of the mine tunnels is needed and it is required that you attend work on this day. Warden. That sucks. Alright, well, I suppose I could just make it match this one, assuming they have the same layout. Right to left. Right. Left, right. Yep, they do have the same layout. Okay, that's a no. Right, left, right, left, right. Yeah, all right, it's different. Uh, where's the one I did before? God, where's it in my notes? I, uh, I have too many notes. Where? That's notes for a different game. It's on my last pile of notes. Um, oh, here we go. It'll be on this one. I know I have it written down. I know I have it written down. Yeah, right, left, left, right, left. Alright, let's try that one. I don't remember from exactly where that was, but let's give it a shot. Right. Left, left. And then right, left. Let's hope they're the same. Every other person okay. seems to be called through first. The waiting slowly empties, There we go. Notes sorted. Don't know what that did exactly, but it did restore this. Oh, this place is filled up with water. Now I can walk through here. Okay, making progress. Oh, the reel disappeared. Okay, so I should be able to get the other reel, right? It's time to get real. Oh, yeah. I was wondering what this thing was, by the way, from Bell's Workshop, and I forgot. If you just do this, you can actually get a description of what it is. So it's a piston prototype, whatever that is supposed to be used for. Okay, maybe I can't use it. Nope, never mind. What if I use it on what's here? 
Uh, downstairs. I don't think it works like that, but let's give it a shot. Hmm, apparently not. Yeah, but I am missing a lot of these. Okay, so two pathways to go, right? There's into the elevator, and there's over here, so let's go over here. Central operation. Oh, three, 380, so that's why that's the only one that worked. 380, which is manned by Nick B, is the central operation. Pinwheel Post, May 1st, 1970. May Day Street Party, huge success. Annual pinwheel celebrations see crowds of people take to the streets to enjoy festivities, food, and fun. Visitors from around the Pinwheel and Devlin area travel to the traditional May Day festivals that were held in Pinwheel Village this bank holiday weekend. Many events were held around the village in key areas, such as Pinwheel Harbor, Pinwheel Primary School, as well as the Pinwheel's Village Square. After the May Day disaster of 1966, it is a delight to see the village bustling once more. New Operation after much discussion, it has been decided that an expansion will occur to our current tunnel structure. Untapped rock that lurks underneath the coastline in sea can be accessed through Brimcliff Depths, which is a potential jackpot for tin. As I am sure you are all aware, Brimcliff is currently experiencing a difficult time financially, and an operation like this could potentially turn business around. A drilling operation will commence on April 29th, 1966, and will require all miners to be present throughout that initial weekend to begin work. If anyone has any comments or issues, please come and see me in my office. Let's go for a ride. Let's hope this thing actually works. The test results back. It's what we'd thought. The early stages of dementia. If we act now, there's a strong chance we can delay the onset of symptoms. I'll be honest with you. Treatment is expensive, especially without the right kind of insurance. But with the right care, that's weird. I wonder why the voice faded away. Alright, so this just gives me access to the mic. I'm going to be out of contact for a while now, but don't panic. I'll be back shortly. Wait, have I been here before? I don't think I have. Wait a minute. Mm, no, I don't think I have been here. Okay. Knockers in the depths. I don't like going down into the depths. Something just isn't normal about that place. It's not called the Devil's Lap for no reason, and I can tell you right now, there are things down there. Things that don't want to be discovered. I've heard knockers down there. Grumpy mind creatures that like to torment us when they feel like it. 
I've heard voices where no man goes, and I've seen wisps that try and guide you the wrong way. Mining ain't for the faint-hearted. Sean V. Sean V. Alright, he was stationed at depth 400. <laughs> the knockers. That sounded kind of like knocking. <laughs> <laughs> right after I said the knockers. It's kind of a creaking noise. Hmm, which way? Let's go this way. Yep, there's all the different ones I've written down. 380 is Nick B, 400 is Sean V, 420 is Chris R, and 480 is Jake R. That really kind of does sound like knocking, doesn't it? Equipment request. Name, Kenneth L. Requested item. Three drill pieces for hard rock that was encountered at 380 fathoms. Reason. Whilst digging one of the new tunnel systems, we encountered a darker, tougher rock. When we attempted to use our current drilling equipment on the rock, the drill heads bent and warped out of shape, rendering them unusable. We need stronger equipment that is more versatile if we are to continue searching effectively for new veins, as I cannot continue repairs this often. Evidence is very strong that past these rocks that a tin or copper mine may exist. There's a third one of those bulbs. I certainly don't need it. Is she going to continue to be out of contact? Eh, seems so. yellow. Hmm. Can't fit my, can't fit my stupid head in there. Ah, just crouch a little lower. Crawl. Go this way. Ooh. Oh, can you knock? Is this setting like the elevator? Does this mean I can't go straight down? I have to go from one to the next to the next? Is that how this works? Alright, so let me. Yeah, I'm obviously at 380. So let me set it for 400. Wait, does that, does that mean where the elevator is going to go? Is it some massive drill? I mean, everything just shook, so I'm guessing it's like a massive drill. Or some... I, I don't know. I'm really not entirely sure what that does. Let's see if I can set it deeper. Oh. Can I make it come back up? Okay, well that suggests I'm gonna have to do something special with it. If I can set it wherever I want. Can I leap to 480? Do I want to? Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Since I don't know the answer to that question, I'm going to save it. Eh, seems fine. smell of the sea. One more sleep, and then home.
Oh, this is the yellow thing. What in the hell is that? I can't even guess as to its function. Well, this part looks like it's meant to connect to something. I, I don't know. Ooh. Huh? Hmm. Well, I don't need that. This looks interesting. Ooh, there's another prototype piston. Sorry, piston prototype, rather. Gotta get the words in the correct order. And yet another reel that I don't know how to play. brown paper with a light inlay from where the ink had been printed. Today, this ticket was as precious as gold itself. Here's a machine, and I don't know its function, and there's a big red button, and I'm going to press it. Surprised it did nothing. Let's try the one in the back. New York to Plymouth. Ten days at sea. Ten days until everyone heard the stories. The great adventure. Wait, what did that actually do? It sounded like something slid open. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> There's another reel. Where does this go? Down, down, down. There's yet another reel. Where do I play these reels? Painter's Journal number four. I got very confused at the art group today. I wanted to paint a picture based upon my experiences at Brimcliff Mine and Pinwheel, but my teacher told me that maybe I should try a different subject area. I hadn't painted anything to do with Brimcliff Mine, and she showed a huge amount of disrespect towards me and my experiences. I lost friends in that mine. I lost a future family member. I will admit, I, I shouldn't have lost my temper, but it upset me. I was asked if I would step outside and calm down. I feel much better now, and I must have painted that picture as it's hung up on my wall in my room. I think I'm going to put all the reels together. Start to group items a bit. Everything is damaged. Everything is lost down there. Caverns of ice-cold water, rusting equipment, and lifeless bodies haunt the space left behind. There is no sound of workmen's chatter no buzz of equipment being used. A moment in time where the faces of men lost are frozen in our memories. T. Fletcher. Ooh. Ooh. That's a... seal, apparently. Not entirely sure why a gigantic stone tablet is called a seal. I was kind of confused about that. But apparently that's a seal, which means I can restore it. Oh, okay, so yeah, every time you restore, you do come back here. I was wondering about that.
Alright, so there was a recorder thing there. I already listened to it. So let's take a look around before I listen to one, because that apparently ends the memory. God, this place is beautiful, is it not? Look at it. God, I'd love to be sitting there right now. Alright, so it looks like there's three, no, four more tapes to listen to, I think. Hello. Hey, it's me. How you doing? I'm sorry, who is this? It's me, Jim. I'm <sighs> sorry. I, I didn't recognize your voice for a moment there. That's okay, don't worry about it. Anyway, how are you? Good, actually. I've been painting again. Quite well, actually, you know. That's great news. How's your new home? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, Hello? I'm sorry. I have to go. No strange. I didn't even know I could bring up and put down the lamp. I was wondering where did it go. Sweet! I love this lamp. Because there's a lot of dark areas to explore. Okay. Well, before I go that way, let's take a look at what's everywhere else. Right, been there, came from there. Don't know what this does, but I did something. And this needs, what, one more part? Maybe two more parts. Not sure how many parts they have. I think it's three, right? I'm assuming everyone is the same number of parts. Here's yet another reel. Okay, I need the passcode to this. Don't have it. At least I don't think I do. I'm st if you could stare at my pile of notes right now, you'd go, oh my god. Because I'm looking down at them, and I, I don't know, maybe I do have it. There's just so many freaking things written down here. Hmm. Alright, that can be opened. Dear George. Daddy. I'm so sad that you no you uh, <laughs> Let me try that again. I'm so sad that you are no longer with us. You were such an inspiration, loving, caring, warm, and kind. You always looked out for your friends and family, and always put everyone else first. Do you remember the time you took me fishing for the first time? I'll never forget that day. The way you always told me to put the fish back if we weren't going to cook them. Always so thoughtful. We will miss you, Daddy. Me, Thomas, and Mum. Love, forever and always. Jean. How is this actually locked? I don't see a lock. I'm not entirely sure how that mechanism works. There's no keyhole. There's no combination. Do we just need to, like, bash it open? I do have a hammer. I also have this little thing. I'm pretty sure that's not going to do the job if the hammer didn't. Yeah, it didn't. Surprise. Uh. I don't 
I think I'm supposed to go in there. So of course I'm going to save and do it anyway. I'm probably going to fall through the earth. Hmm. Okay, this goes nowhere. <laughs> Let's just hope I can get out. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Oh, whoa. That's quite the painting. Let's go check it out. So again, I came from there, came from there. I need the password to that. Don't know how to open that. There's a bridge downstairs. There's three, four pathways I can go that I haven't gone yet. Let's go up to the painting. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, I quit. This is unacceptable. Worst game, worst game ever made. Two out of ten stars. Would not buy. Father. But it's an acronym, apparently. Did I just blow out candles? Oh, I did. I really do love how you can blow out and then relight candles. It's really cool. It's a beautiful piece of art, too. 